Hello again. Took this sprocket on an old bicycle wheel. Figured I would try to chain drive a hoverboard wheel for using as a generator. And I ended up knocking out these rivets after I cut it off of the bike wheel and pre-drilled the holes in the plastic while getting in as center as possible. In this video, I'm gonna be bench testing this hoverboard wheel, just a single one. And I'm gonna be powering it with an electric motor to simulate whatever you're gonna to use to rotate this hoverboard wheel to generate electricity. And also a little bit more finer detail into the wiring and what it can do. As you can see, I think I made the chain a little bit too long and it was whipping a little bit too much for it to work properly in this setup. So I decided to go away from the chain and go to this friction style drive. So here's the outputs of the hoverboard motor being rectified to DC and then it's coming into the buck. Also at the end of this video I'll have three schematics showing a few different ways you can actually wire these hoverboard motors up to make them work in different configurations. So this is the output of the buck. Whatever you have it doing is gonna be outputting there and this meter will be on the output. And this meter will be reading what the hoverboard motor is doing at any given time from its rectified output. So I'll be charging a battery at one point in this video. It's a 12 volt battery that you see there. And this buck that I'm using at the beginning here is going to be a, it's a step down buck. So you can have a higher voltage and it regulates it to a lower voltage. So this first run it will be without a battery and it's running off just a generator alone. Also using this AC inverter powered directly off the buck that's powered by the generator. And as you can see here that once you're pulling the power it draws the motor down, the resistance increases quite a bit. And I add some more power to the powered motor to drive the generator to overcome the resistance. The motor that I'm using to drive the generator is a 12 volt motor and it can draw up to about 8 amps. I have it on an adjustable power supply. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the battery and you can notice once I hook the battery up the buck automatically starts running. I would imagine you could probably put a diode on there to where it doesn't feed back into the buck and only lets power through. The idling battery voltage was 12.35 so anything above that technically would be charging. You can also adjust the rate of charge with this buck. And I'll have this buck in the description.
And right here, I turn off the box output, which takes all the resistance off the motor. And I'm lowering the charge current. So I took out the step down buck, and now I'm putting in the boost buck, which is typically takes a lower voltage and makes a higher voltage and run it off the generator. I'm also going to show the maximum voltage I can get this hoverboard motor to put out. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Thank you. 